right? I hope you can hear me. I'm audible, right? Hello, one, two, three, check. So I hope I can, yeah. So hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In the previous video we were creating a food delivery application. You can hear me. Which we have created till here. Which we have done till here. You can see it. We have created this find your favorite food part. And inside this we have even, you know, this restaurant. And popular menu and all. But we haven't created this uh, restaurant page and the profile page, right? That we are going to create, which was about to look like this. Let me show you how it is. See, it's going to look like this. We can even add a, you know, splash screen if you want. I'll be adding that later on. But yeah, this is how exactly our thing should look. So, and this was the restaurant page that we have created, right? And yeah, so this was the profile section that we are going to also create it. So without wasting time, let's begin. Where exactly is our code? It's here, right here. Yeah, it's here. So in this section, we have created the part over there and let me check where it's lagging a little bit. Right. Here is restaurant part is all done and now let me close this one. So you can see that app is uh, launching, our application is launching and let's just wait till it gets launched out. And then we are going to start the coding part in this section. Mm -hmm. So in this part, you can see that popular menu has done and we have to create a restaurant page. Okay. So let's do what? Let's quickly come and check out for the restaurant page. So I'm going to create a restaurant not dot page inside this home page. Okay. So I'll create a file and I name it as restaurant dot dot. Okay. So I'm going to create a new file which will be having restaurant dot dot. And inside this file, we are going to create first name. I'm going to, you know, import that same old import and package material dot dot <laughs> and then i'm going to use a stateless widget which will be written as restaurant okay so i'm going to write a state less widget and i'll just name it as restaurant okay now inside this what i'm going to write here is i'm going to firstly define a scaffold and for defining a scaffold, let's do one thing. Let's quickly uh, create a widget here. Okay. Uh, let me go right here. And inside this, if you will see, we have not created that uh, sections as of now, which from which we are going to take the data. What sections? It's uh, for this we need firstly to import a list of restaurants. So I'm going to create a class and I'm going to name it as restaurants. And inside this, this class will take a string. Uh, so I'll write this capital string name, uh, actually image URL. Then I'm going to take title. Title, then I'm going to take locations. Then I'm going to be rating and I'm going to take the price. Okay. This is what I'm going to take from this. Now, inside this, I'm going to write a class which will be asking these required things. So, 
I'll write required in all of them. So required. Okay. So when I added required, now it's not throwing that error that it was throwing a row, right? You can see it. So this was the class that contains these things. Now I'm going to create a list, list of food items. That we are going to use. So it will be food items list. So food item list will be having a list, and the list will be containing all these you know elements. So I'll write food items that we have to create. So I'm going to rename it as food items. Food items. Food items will be having a lot of data. So what this food items will be having? This food items will be having first of all the name. Okay. Next to one thing. Uh, for now, let's not add the food item because we are currently dealing in the restaurant, right? So let's create restaurants. So yeah, this will be the data that we will be using over there. Okay. So it's currently taking this image assets like this, but I will change it a little bit different. Okay. So I'll change it to something else over there. Okay. See, in this, uh, what I have written here is I have taken list of restaurants and that restaurants have these particular data bags. What data bags? It has uh, this part where we have the name, home, sweets, and snacks. Location is North Indian and South Indian Chinese, like that. Okay. Actually, I have to change this locations, but it's okay. Never mind. We will be keeping that locations as of now. Then we have McDonald's, Burger. Okay. Then Domino's Pizza, and all these images are also there. Like, if you will check the images. It looks like this. Okay. So this is the images that also has been imported. So now we have created these, you know, uh, data that we will be using. Okay. If you want, you can just, you know, copy paste that data once again so that you will be getting restaurants, copy, and again after here, I'll paste it. So what I will be doing, I will get double the list, the items will be doubled. Okay. So that we are going to use in this. Now, inside this, we are going to create a widget and that widget will be called as restaurant available. Okay. So available and this will be storing build context context like this and this widget will be specifying this widget will be having many more data uh, let me format it for now and inside this build context we are going to return a container okay so we are going to return a container over there let me format it properly so that you should be able to see it okay. so yeah like this now Inside this, we even need to declare a variable height. Okay, so this will be storing the height inside this. So I'm going to call out the height, not size, exactly the size. Now inside this container, what we have, we have to firstly give out the padding so that we can be see the exact elements. Right. So let me give it the height. So it will be he dot height so basically the container will be having he dot height and the width will be he dot width that means full height full width now decoration so decoration should be this particular you if you remember we have created a linear gradient in the previous section if you have seen it over there this is the linear gradient so i'm going to just copy this box decoration and i'm just going to paste it over here so paste okay so we have even uh, give, give a linear gradient over there. 
okay and over here inside this i'm going to just return a scaffold which has a body of this particular restaurant available right so it has a body of restaurant available or text okay so yeah this will be the file restaurant or dot now let's come back here inside the list we have created right inside this list instead of this main page i'm going to create restaurants it says restaurant is in a class so i'm going to just import restaurant dot dot okay now if i come back to this and if i restart the server let me see it has been restarted log in and if i click here inside this you can see that we are getting this uh, box chat box decoration that we have created right after this box decoration we need to specify what should be inside the container of this right so i'll write child inside the child i'm going to specify a column okay so basically a column and that column will be having a children and inside the children first of all firstly we will be specifying padding because i need a padding from agencies only so from top i need about 18 from left i need 18 and from right i need 18 okay so left 18 and as well from the right i need 18 okay so yeah this will be the padding right here okay and now right after this uh padding we are going to write child and inside the child, I am going to specify a row. Okay. So this row basically will be having the data that we are going to display that restaurants near you or whatever restaurants we can see, right? So <clears throat> it's going to tell uh, basically like this. So it's basically going to take this uh, data okay like it has created a children and this children has the row which you can see it over there you can see it it has all already crossed up so it's upside so what i'll do here is i'll add a padding to this container and uh, the padding will be edge insets dot only and only from top I'll give it a padding of 50. Okay. And let's reload. So now you can see that we have uh, removed that padding over there and it looks really nice. Right. And in this, I'll name it to restaurants near you. Okay. So it will be basically showing us the restaurants which are near us. So we have specified that restaurants near you. And also we have given them color short wide and font size will be a little bigger because it's an heading. Okay, so yeah, now it looks good. And we have even the search button, which usually doesn't does anything over there. Okay, so yeah, icon button, it should be icon button and it should contain an icon which will be specified like that okay so i have to remove this const from there not from there where it's exactly saying okay so and inside this icon button i have changed it to like this okay and What it says invalid constant value. So constant value, it is not a constant value, basically. So I'll remove this. Yeah. Now this works fine. Okay. 
so basically whenever we are leaving any empty spaces or empty null value then it basically says us that uh, you know the constant uh, value should be uh, specified it should not be left null that is what it was showing us so you can see that we have even got this uh, text and icon button now right after this padding inside this column i'm going to specify an expanded okay and right inside this expanded i'm going to write child and in that child i'm going to write list view dot builder okay so list view dot builder will be having first of all item builder so item builder will be having inside this brackets it should have context comma index so context comma index inside this item builder and what it basically has that we are going to specify what is will be stored in this so we have to take from the context and it should return item builder if it should run item builder item builder which has some of the data that we are going to tell okay so and we are even going to specify h e comma index comma context okay so now right after this we are going to create another widget that will be called as item builder okay and inside this item builder first it's going to take the size then it's going to take build context so build context will be having a context and there is one more thing that we have to take we have to take in index okay so yeah these are the data that we are going to specify to it to this particular widget okay now inside this widget it basically should return us anything right so firstly i'll ask them to give me padding okay so what it's going to take it's going to write const and h insets dot symmetric and inside the symmetric i'm going to take from vertical i'm going to give a 10 and from horizontal i'm going to give ad okay so yeah i need a little more padding over there now inside this i'm going to write child and this child will be having some of the data what data it will be having a gesture detector which at initial stage will not do anything over there comma has been added okay so this gesture detector it does not do anything on tab it just basically does nothing okay as of now then inside this child i'm going to write material okay and inside this material i'm going to give an elevation elevation of three elevation of three and also i'm going to specify a border radius the border radius should be circular and of some height particularly yeah it, uh, we have not written any text so it's not showing us anything as of now okay now right after this inside the material we are going to give a child and the child will be having a container okay and inside this container what i'm going to do i'm going to specify uh what we are going to specify we are going to specify the height and the width of this so i'm going to write height should be so height should be about about size dot height in divided by 0 0.25 that means one fourth of the height okay so 2.5 like that and width should be little less okay uh 1.1 maybe right now after this i'm going to write a child and the child will be containing another column okay and what i'm going to store basically in that this column i'm going to store children and inside the children we are going to store another data what we are going to basically you know firstly show them the decoration that we have created so inside this children what i'm going to write i'm going to write container 
okay and this container has what height and height of size should be fourth and the width should be 1.1 okay so yeah width and width should be the same and now we are going to give them a decoration okay so box decoration inside this box decoration we are going to give another thing what border radius okay so inside this we are going to give border radius only and uh, decoration image so this will be what it should looks like okay so now what is this restaurant okay, so basically for specifying the restaurant list we need call them okay so yeah Inside this, I'm going to write a restaurants list. So, restaurants list. Hmm. And restaurant list. Okay. So, now inside this restaurant list, it is us, it's basically telling the restaurants data. Okay, so, yeah. Invalid value, it should not increase the range. Okay, okay, sure. So now inside this, we have given item builder, but we have not told them about count, item count. It, so we even need to specify how many elements will be there or how many uh, items should be there. So item count should be uh, restaurant list dot length. Okay. Now it will be little fine. Thing. Now, after this, we are basically going to reload the server to check whether see. So you can see that we are getting list of elements. Okay, we are getting all the elements in the list. Now this white part needs to be corrected with the data okay so we are basically going to change the data and we are going to write the text inside that okay so now this part is done and after this container we are going to specify another container okay so these are individual columns and in every columns we are going to uh, identify the list items okay now Let's just use the default code that it's giving us. Okay. Uh, let's see what it says. Yeah. So yeah, it has done somewhat data, but it's not accurate actually. So what I'll do here is I'll go quickly to the part. And inside the part, we are going to change all the differences. Okay. So in this, I'm going to write height. Firstly, I'm just going to give the height. So height should be size dot height divided by seven. Oh, it should be 25. Let's go 25. Width should be that much. So width I'll do 77. So this will be a container. And now inside this decoration, we are going to give then a decoration of color sort green at the border radius. Okay. So decoration will be color sort green and the border radius should be a uh, circular little bit. Okay. Yeah, so you can see that this is yeah somewhat looking there. Now after this, we are going to change the alignment, so I'll write alignment. Alignment should be in the center of this. So alignment dot center. Okay. And inside this const, I'm going to write inside this child, I'm going to write a text. 
and the text will be having the rating that you have even already provided in that data. So I'm going to write restaurant list. Okay. And inside this, we are going to take the index as well. And inside that index, dot with rating. Okay, so we are going to take the rating from that. Now, talking about this style, we are going to specify it to the white color. So I'm going to write text style. So text time will be colors dot white. Format document and reload. So you can see that, yeah, it is showing 4.1 rating. 4.1, 4.1, 4.2, 4.2, like that. 4.2, 4.2, like that. Right? So it is showing somewhat rating to us. Now, after completing this rating, we will close this container. And right after this container, I'm going to write another container. No, it's no, no, no. This data that we have written, right, 1.4 and 4, all this data. After this container that we have created, this one container, this container should be wrapped inside a row, I think so. Okay. So I'll do what? This container, that is this one. What will make the difference is just that what we have done here, we have uh, changed the container from the initial that I have created. Okay, so this was that container. I have wrapped that container into another container and we have created a row and the row has space between and like that we have written. Alignment should be the text dot center. Okay, the rating has been given, and for the first, we are given the title. Okay, so now rating part is done. Now we have to get the title, and after this title, where this container ends up, we are going to create another container, and inside the container, I'm going to write with with should be a size dot with one by two. And inside this, we are going to write the text okay, dot description. But instead of the description, I'm going to write location. Okay, so locations. And let me check whether, yeah. So this location looks good. We are going to make it a little more smaller. Okay. And Yeah. So this looks good and I'll wrap this with a row okay. and where this text ends up, I'm going to write another text, another text. Like this and inside this text, we are going to give them the pricing targets, right? So restaurant list and uh, yes i'll give main access alignment dot space between okay so it doesn't really look that good actually so i'll do what i'll um, add on a sized box over there so it will look good so yeah size box of width thirty. so instead of 30 i have to specify in terms of he or something something like size dot width by 20 like that
So yeah, it's like uh, if you will uh, divide it. Yeah, that was not a good idea. So basically, yes, you can see that we are getting the price. Find over there. Like this is the price that we are getting. And yeah, you can uh, change somewhat over there and I'll try it. Dollar. Inside the dollar, I'm going to write this price. And right after this price, I'm going to write for one. Okay. So for one. Okay. So one thing let's just add this row should be having this space between part okay and i'll wrap this with the padding okay so yeah padding the so leaves and in the only i'll wrap this padding from right okay now like this looks good and you can see it's even constant for each and every text right yeah so you can see that we have created this near you restaurant sections over there okay. and yeah you can even add more data in that that you have got blah blah amounts of uh restaurants in the here is part of yours and yeah so this looks good right now in this section, what I have to do, we have to even uh, modify these data as well. So let's quickly come back to the constant page. And inside the constant page, we have a lot to change over there. So let's come to the constant and I have created some of the data for food items. Okay, So what I'll do here is similarly, like I have created this restaurants class I'm going to create class for food. Okay, so I'm going to write class food items. Okay, so food items should have some some amount of these data, like image URL and name. Basically, I don't need the tag and the price as of now. So price and rating will be removed from here. Okay. So we just basically need two data in this part. Okay. Now after this food item, I have to create a list that will be specifying the elements. So list food items. And inside the list, I'm going to name it as food items list of it so yeah like that and let's do one thing let's uh give them the data that i have created over there already so inside this list i have created these data so i'll format by <coughs> showing an error so instead of me i have to change this to Title instead of title, I have to change this to name. Okay, so name and over here also I change it to name. Okay, so now you will see it's not throwing us any error. And yeah, we have this constant file which contains the data, like it's funny, right? So yeah, you can see that we are getting this uh, data, and for biryani, we are getting 
the biryani png which i think so it's going to take some time maybe um yeah but basically that uh biryani and all things are working right so you can see that uh, we are going to add that inside this column right after that yeah see this image is really working fine so i'll close this constant page and restaurant part is done you can see that it looks really nice now uh, let's just do one thing let's come back to the home page that we have created what a navigation bottom overflowed by eight pixels so bottom navigation power Six, right? So, alerted 64. Yeah, so you can see that now it's not giving us that error that bottom navigation has overflowed by this distance. But yeah, if you need, you can uh, do the data, do the changes in that. Yeah, so yeah, it looks good. Fine. Now, in this we have written nearest the restaurants okay so vegan italian and uh, instead of this vegan i can change it to something south indian and all and all and all okay so yeah that you can do by your own as well let me just find out the data where it is exactly top bar inside the top bar it's search input search input else i don't need i need Okay, so wants to my screen part nearest to the restaurants. Yeah, SH headlines. Vegan, vegan, and uh, Italian, South Indian. And similarly, we can add more of it, like copy and uh, similarly, I'll add Punjabi and all, like, you know, typical. That whatever Indian people eat, that one, like that. So as soon as I changed it, now you can see that we have even our own restaurants and the popular menu will be added over here. Okay. So inside this popular menu, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create card list view, and in this card list view, <clears throat> let me check where it is. Okay, yeah. So this is the card list view that we have created, right? So I'll just do one thing. I'll uh, rename it to something else. Okay. Now, instead of this card list view, I'm going to give them that data that we have created over there. Okay, so popular menu will be having the same data. It's a card list view. Copy it out. Okay, so I'll just do one thing. I'll copy paste it here. And instead of this card list view, I'll name it to menu list view. Okay, so menu list view will be having the same data. But instead of this vegan and all and all and all, yeah, I'm going to change it to the elements that we were having, right? So it will be. Like for example, let's go to constant and in the constant we need these data. So I will copy this data from here. Like yeah, I need this biryani over there image. So I have copied this biryani image. And I'll change it over there. Paste. And instead of this vegan, I'll write biryani. So biryani. And here, instead of where it exactly, instead of uh, top bar and all and all, card list view, 
I'm going to name it to menu list. Okay, so menu list thing. And uh, I'll go back and if I'll reload. So yeah, you can see that <clears throat> it's showing me that biryani options. And similarly, I can add more more in that. So I have now added biryani, right? So it's 15 minutes away. And pizza. Pizza is about 12 minutes away. away. So in this, where is the pizza? Uh, pizza chair, right? So. I'll firstly do what I'll wrap this so that I can see all data, right? So yeah, toggle word wrap. Inside this pizza, I'll remove this link and I'll paste it from here. So for that again, I'll do toggle word wrap. So yeah, in this pizza, I'll copy this pizza image and I'll paste it over there. Okay. So yeah, you can see that now we will be getting pizza over there. Yeah, so this is the pizza that we are getting. If I'll remove the image background, okay, then it will look fine. Actually, I have already the images that we need, but uh, we will be then needing to do some changes, which will be a little hectic task. So I'm just, you know, uh, doing it uh, in an easy format so that you will be easily handling it. So yeah, you can similarly add your own items over here. I have not added much of them as of now. But yeah, you, if you want, you can add them in your data, right? Now, after this home page part, we even need to add one more thing that is the list items that we have created. Okay, so I'll do what? I'll first of all, menu list view. I'll close this and I'll close this and I'll come back right here. Okay. Now, inside this, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to write some changes. I'll come up here, go away. And inside this menu list view, I'm going to, after this, I'm going to write a container. Okay. So inside this container, we basically will be having, first of all, the width. So I have given it the width or he dot height, and that height should be divided by 1.1. Okay. And then I'm going to write constant. I'm going to write child and inside the child, I'm going to write text. And this text has uh, what I can write eat what what makes you happy. So eat what makes you happy. I've written it like that. And I don't need colors dot white. I need colors dot black. And let me check that whether it's visible or not. Yeah. So it is visible, but we don't really need that, you know, uh, bold part. So instead of font weight dot bold, I'll write W400. Okay. So yeah, this part. And if I reload, you can see that it has been changed for that part. Now, after writing this, eat what makes you happy. I'll create one more container. And inside the container, I'm going to give a padding. So I'm going to be padding only from uh, top, then uh, right, 25. And from uh, bottom, so fifteen. Okay, so this is what the padding will be, and then I have to give them the height. So height will be h e dot height divided by three. Okay, so yeah, divided by three. And width will be he dot width. And now inside this, we are going to basically create a grid. Okay, so I'm going to write child 
and inside this head, I'm going to write grid view dot builder. So basically, this grid view dot builder will be having uh, the view that we are basically needing here. So yeah, add. So inside this uh, grid view, now it basically uh, needs grid delegate. So for that, I'm going to write sliver, sliver delegate with cross axis count. Okay. Uh, format and this cross axis count will be changed to uh, two, and main axis spacing will be ten. So I'm basically giving the uh, spacing and we are giving the cross axis count, how many axes should be there in that grid. Okay. Now, inside this item builder, we are basically, uh, it is basically asking us to give the item builder, whatever will be the items, we need that. Okay, so yeah. In this item builder, I'm going to basically uh, write like this. Context, comma index. So context, comma index, and right after that, we are going to return what? We are going to return a card that we have already created, right? And the card should be having what? The card will be having the food item list, and inside that list, I'm going to write index dot name okay so whatever the name that also it's going to take and then it's going to take the food item list index dot uh, img url okay so it's basically going to take image url and this one and for the initial purposes i'm going to write So yeah, it's like 20 minutes away. That will be fine. Okay. So yeah. So I'll remove this and I'll just name 20 minutes away like that. And yeah, so this will be the grid view builder that we are creating and I'll write format document and const. If let me just run the code back again. So yeah, you can see that we are getting this container should have the padding from the in the files. So yeah, it also have some padding over there and now it looks good, right? If I'll restart the server and if I'll check how exactly my code is looking, if you will see that if I click on login and yeah, when I click here, this part is working, this part is working and also this part is working. Index A. Uh, return card index name and what it says index name has okay so it's basically giving them the error okay, so yeah it's asking that how much uh, should be the length so i have item count should be food item list dot length so till the length we have till that time it should basically go so yeah if you see now we have this part yeah so it works fine, right? You can see it. I'll just do what I'll go back there in the in the constants, and we are just going to copy paste the same files so that the initial length will be increased down. Okay, <clears throat> reload. And then now if you will see, so we have got a lot of length here. See, again, 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 right? So yeah.
and the restaurant part is also done this looks good and we now have to implement and specify the we even have to implement and specify this part where we are going to create profile page okay so <clears throat> For creating profile page, it's uh, not that uh, difficult. I'll just show you how exactly the profile page has been created. Okay, so uh, let's go here. And inside this library, inside this home page, we are going to create a new file and I'll name it as profile.art. <coughs> so profile.art will be having the data. Okay, so as of now, let's do what I'll firstly implement the package of clutter material dot dot. And then when I'm going to write, I'm going to write state less widget, which will be having our profile screen. Okay. So it's going to have our profile screen. And inside the profile screen, uh, we are even going to keep a container okay so this will be a container and the container will be having the same old decoration that we have created okay so i'm going to paste that decoration over here <clears throat> and i'll come back to this part and inside this part we are going to change this from that to profile screen dot on okay so this and if I reload, let's reload it. and uh, let me reload login, login and profile. So you can see that, yeah, we are getting the profile page and in this part, we are going to keep on adding our data. Okay. So I hope you understood what we have done so far. The remaining part we will be continuing in the next video. If you have any sort of doubts and queries, then do comment out. And if you are liking this series, then do like, share and subscribe to the channel so that you won't miss an upcoming video. Code will be uploaded <clears throat> on my GitHub. So you can take it from there. Modification. So I'll write restaurant page. Restaurant page. And little modifications so restaurant page and little modifications has been created and i'll comment this so yeah the code has been uploaded to my github which you guys can access from here and if you want to follow me you can follow me here so yeah this was pretty much it for this video and i will see you in the next one till then